Hey Matt. Hey Pierce. I got a new gun today. Nice. What? It, why do you not have a shirt on? I ran into this guy in the parking lot. He told me he would trade me straight up a gun for my shirt. That was either a really nice shirt or a really terrible gun. Yeah, it was the Demolition Ranch shirt. Link in description. Well, let's see the gun. High point, Fody Cal. Speechless? Not surprised. Don't you love it? <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Glad you're here because I need someone else to suffer a little bit with me in having to look at that. So, the premise of this video, I wanted to buy the cheapest pistol I could. I went to a pawn shop and I picked the cheapest one they had. And I want to see, can a cheap pistol be good? What they had, they actually, the cheapest pistol that they had was actually a brand new one. This is a brand new high point. Full size, 40 caliber. Is this not the ugliest pistol you have ever seen? Ugh, it just disgusts me to even look at it. It's hideous. It doesn't feel good in the hand. It makes weird noises. It's super heavy and big and blocky. But brand new, it was really, really cheap. Like crazy cheap. Ugh. So this pistol is a polymer frame pistol, just like these two. And I brought out sort of an assortment. This is like, you saw this in the last video. It's a FN. 57 it's like one of the nicest pistols that you would consider carrying I mean like it's it's expensive it's a nice gun really nice this one is a more reasonable pistol I would call this a budget pistol this is the Canic TP9 SF it's a budget pistol for sure but they don't look like trash they look nice they're not they're just not ugly I think it's a great looking pistol does great then at the low end of the spectrum you have this Price-wise, the high point cost about half of what our budget pistol cost. It cost about probably 10% of what this gun cost. So, I mean, I guess it gives it a little room to be ugly because it's, it's cheap. It's cheap. I mean, that's why I bought it today. It's cheap. <coughs> so gross. I think it's worth mentioning that I have a little bias. Uh, I don't like this pistol. I don't want to like this pistol. I actually hate everything about this pistol, um, but I've heard people say that they like the pistol after they shoot it. It's a good shooter. I've also heard people say it's trash. I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope I end this video by telling you this gun is terrible. Also, single stack magazine? What is this, 1911? <laughs> but seriously, it only holds 10 rounds. That's stupid. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay. Let's see if we can make it through all 10 rounds. It's probably why the magazine capacity is so low, so it has less chance of jamming in a mag. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it already. Okay. Success. Oh, that trigger's disgusting. I missed. It's probably the gun's fault. Okay. I mean... As luck would have it, it made it through. It's just lucky. That's good ammo. I put good ammo on the gun. Give her a go again. Second magazine. Blech. That was weird. It did something there. <laughs> See? Okay, and now what? Let me just uh, stick that bullet back in there. Doing something funky. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm wanting it to fail. Let's see if we can hit. Ah. I'll shoot slow. I'm gonna go for a headshot on the left target. All right. I think it's me that's pulling it off target. This thing, when you shoot slow, 
does seem sort of accurate, but clunky. So clunky. Yeah. 10 more rounds in it. I'm gonna shoot this one as fast as I can. No aiming at all. So I would say we had a little bit of a feeding issue, like when I first put a mag in one time, but that seemed about it. And, and it's a brand new gun, so I'll, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Guns do need a little break-in period, and this one did not have any yet. Overall, it's running better than I thought it would run. Let's see if we can change that. We'll do a little torture on it. You ever seen those videos where they get a gun and tie it with a string to like the back of a truck? And then they drive the truck off road and drag the gun through like the rockiest areas ever? Yeah, we should do that. I mean, it looks so bad to begin with that honestly, this might be an improvement. I don't know if you guys can see in there, it is full of dirt. I mean, like, dirt went everywhere. <sighs> Barrel's clear. Okay. Oh, that was a little tough. Oh, still going. I mean, I gotta say, it was a little delayed at first, but it did function. Look at that, Look at that dirt it's throwing back on my hand out of here. When it's ejecting dirt out of the bottom of the slide, that's how you know your gun is a little too dirty. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a pass on that. Good job. Let's step up our game a little bit. If you were here right now, I know what you would be wanting to ask me. You would be wanting to ask Matt. Is that flesh-eating bacteria sitting on top of all this water? And if you did ask me that, I would tell you, I don't know. I think we're still okay. My skin feels really itchy though. Next up is a very scientific test. I'm pretty sure the military and the FBI does this with all of their service pistols. I'm gonna take a measured amount of pond scum and put it in the gun and see if it fires. <laughs> Ow, this thing kicks a little bit. a bullet in here or not. Nope, there's not. Okay. It still fired them all out. It's having a little bit of issue, but still doing all right. Have you guys seen my high point? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, there it is. Down there, right under the truck tire. Hope the truck doesn't go forward. Oh, no. The truck just ran over my high point. Hey, buddy. You okay? You look okay. Let's try it. For the next test, I won't be shooting the high point. I'll be shooting the canic. Have you ever been in one of those situations where your best friend and you are standing there pointing guns at each other? And you know, like, you don't want to kill him because he's a good guy. He's just confused and thinks he wants to kill you. So instead of shooting him, you just want to disarm him? Me too, all the time. Come on, man. Come on, Lieutenant Dan. Dude, I made you. I made you. Don't you point that gun at me. You would be nothing without me. Okay, he's just confused. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna disarm him without kill, well, he's, he's been disarmed. Lieutenant Dan has no arms. I'm gonna disweapon him without killing him. Be cool, dude. 
Come on, we're friends. We don't need to do this. We don't. Well, that was dramatic. Buddy? Buddy, you okay? Lieutenant? Lieutenant? Oh, that might hurt. Good grip though, buddy. Great grip, great grip. Bullet, straight to the chamber. Put a nice dent there. Broke our slide. Will it rack? Nope, it's locked up. Man, it's close though. Oh! <laughs> hold on, hold on. What happened? No way! <laughs> I've never wanted a gun to run more than I want this one to run right now. Oh, come on! If you make a gun that can take a bullet to the freaking chamber and bend the slide and it still runs? Woo! Okay, high point. Hate him, still hate him. I'm gonna go there and say I still hate him. But truck gun, throw it in your truck, put it under your seat. If it ever gets stolen, oh well. And I would go as far as to say it's bulletproof. <laughs> yes! Thanks for watching the most ranch. I love you. See you next time! Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Ish.